Hey guys, so here I have a very small haul to share with you and some info. So I'll do the info first and then I'll get into the haul. It's really nothing too big, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you. So this Thursday, which is the 28th, they're going to be doing their new layout, which is the Italian theme. Following on the 29th, which is Friday, expect to see a two for 22 sale. So excited. There are definitely a few candles I do want to stock up on. However, I don't think I'll do it too big because I have way too much as it is. And there may be like three cents I like to buy in bulk, but other than that, there's really nothing much. I do really enjoy espresso bar and I hope you guys like, if you like anything coffee related, you'll love that scent to the max. I'm telling you, it's excellent. A few of my subbies were asking, um, how does it compare to the Cafe Au Lait scent? Well, Cafe Au Lait ended up smelling like a tiramisu, which is a dessert, while the espresso bar candle smells, it's simple, it's plain and simple, spot on to espresso, it's just, you get that creamy, frothy vanilla scent, along with roasted espresso beans. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You're walking to like coffee shop, coffee house. It's simple. So I would highly recommend grabbing that one. And yeah, the candles will be out. Body care, I'm not really sure, but for sure the candles will be out on the 29th. So look forward to that. Now let's get into the small little haul, short sure and sweet, nothing too, nothing too crazy. So I believe the last yeah, the last day of the last two for 20 sale, I, which was about a week ago, right? A week or two ago, I was kind of desperate and I'm thinking, okay, I did a phone order and I ordered, um, I was inquiring about a few scents. I wanted melon because it's just pretty much out of print at this point. No one... It's just a memory at this point, so I wanted to get that one just to have it. I have two already, but I wanted to grab one more, and I wanted Southern Magnolia. Now, unfortunately for me, the scent kind of dudded out near the end, but I ended up correcting it, so that worked out for me. Um, throw got a little bit better, but the burn was very slow. Not the burn that's, you know, up to my standard, but it was good. But I wanted this candle because you know, things, they change their mind within the blink of an eye, so you just really never know. And I want it to be safe, so now I have about eight of these. And, I don't know, I like the scent. It's simple. It's a nice, kind of, to me it kind of smells like gardenia. It has like a peach nectar note to it as well, too. I really like it. So I wanted to stock up. If it doesn't come to all stores, then at least I have it, you know? So I did that, and then the lady was like, hey, we have another one called um, Villa Bergamot. And I'm like, oh, really? That's the one I was looking for. Not really looking for, but you know what I mean? That's the one that has been, um, talked about and is it coming? Is it go what's happening with it? I heard it didn't make the burn test, didn't pass burn quality, but it's here. So I'm thinking two for 22. Let me just grab two, three wicks, 22, and then grab, um, this candle, the lady's like, look, why don't you just wait? Like the three wick will be here, I, I guarantee you. Just wait. But knowing me, I just had to have it, I had to order it, because I was desperate. I'm like, let me just have, I, I have to smell it. So no one else had it, so I was like, well look, let me just get it. So I got it, <laughs> and that was like, what, 30, 30 something, so you know. Yeah, so that worked out. So here it is, we have the Villa bergamot candle. So pretty. And my two southern magnolias. Very desperate, but you know, I mean, I heard it's not coming to all stores, so I like to be, I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know? I've read the description for the Villa Bergamot, so let me just do it anyway. This one says, aromatic bergamot grown in the warm and sunny Calabria region of Italy provided the inspiration for this Elegant citrus blend that also includes lavender and geranium. So, first of all, if you're a fan of the mahogany teakwood or even the new Boathouse Row candle, I think you'll like this one. I'm on the fence, but leaning more toward the like 
as opposed to dislike, I need a three wick. I really need that three wick. Um, the four ounce is cool, but uh, you, I need a three wick, pretty much. It's good. Um, I smelled it initially, and I said, cologne. I mean, God, all these su supposed nature outdoor scents always end up smelling like cologne. I mean, they nailed it when they had fresh balsam. They nailed it when they had, oh, what's it, evergreen. They nailed those, can they don't smell like cologne. They smell like what they're supposed to smell like. Lately, they've been doing these scents that are supposed to be fresh, um, clean, and they usually, 9 out of 10, they end up smelling like cologne. So this is no different. It's, it does smell like cologne. kind of reminds me of the Cool Water, Cool Water Waters cologne from like years ago. You know, your um, date would wear it and drench himself in it. Good times, but you know, kind of smells like that. But um, in the middle of it all, there is a lavender note in there and there is definitely a bergamot note in there and I feel like they're suffocated. I feel like they're in there, but I think when I burn it, it'll definitely come to life because right now I just, it's very faint. I smell it. It's definitely there. Lavender is definitely in there, which I love and bergamot. So they're in there, but it's just so suffocated in that cool water scent. It's kind of like hard for me to, you know, get it there, but it's, it's good. I like it. As of right now, it's not three wick worthy, but of course I'm going to grab three wick, <laughs> but you know, Right now, I'll say, if you don't see it, don't worry. If you see it, grab it. It's one of those, you know, that. But it, it's nice. Kind of also smells like like facial toner, too. It's like an astringent. But, you know, I like it. It's not, not the worst, and it's not the best. But for now, I'm just going to say I need a three wick. So undecided, leaning toward, like it. So I didn't Southern. <laughs> Southern Magnolia is nice. I've reviewed this. I'm not even going to talk about it. I reviewed it. You know what it is. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for um, this review. Look for the new... It's like a forest clean type collection. I've talked about it before. The um, White Barn extension there. Pretty much White Barn candles are packaged in the White Barn. Um, to refresh your memory, we have sandalwood, citrus, sage, and cedar, oak, moss, and vetiver, and totally forgot that other one. Oh, whitewater birch. So look for those candles. And that's it. So let me let you guys go so I don't start rambling your heads off. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Of course, you have to comment, rate, subscribe. That's mandatory at this point. You have to do it because, hello me. That's kidding. And that's it. So God bless you all and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.